So in this video, I'll be creating a stringer transition for vMix. As we can see on the screen, there is a stringer transition between two different videos. So I'll be creating our same stringer transition and we'll be using it for vMix. So let's start with the tutorial. So in the very first step, I'll be opening the mixkit.co website and from the website, I will be downloading a After Effects transition file. So let's just open the website and download the transition file. You can see on the bottom, there is a list of different assets that are available for on the website and the, the completely the, the, the complete the so I'll be selecting a transition from after effects and I'll be downloading the same transition and after the download has been completed after the download has been completed I have extracted the file from by using winzip and then the extracted file is open on after effects so inside the After Effects, we have to go on File and then Export and Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. So after adding it on the Adobe Media Encoder Queue, so after adding it on the Media Encoder Queue, will be selecting it as a PNG format and we have to select it as a PNG alpha format. So we'll be selecting the PNG alpha format, PNG with alpha format and then we'll be exporting the same video as a PNG sequence. So after exporting the PNG sequence, we'll be opening it in vMix and we'll be using it as a stringer transition. So let's move towards the vMix process so on the next step let's move towards our vmix program and then add some input. I am going to add two video files as input. So as I have already downloaded these two video files from mixkit.co, I am going to add these two video files that I have already shown on the introduction. So let's add the video files. I have two video files. So I have already added these two video files and then now we are going to add a stinger transition that we have already converted. So let's move towards the move input, sorry, add input and then image sequence or stinger. So I have already made two these two image sequence I have already selected. So you can just browse to your folder and then select the folder in which you have made your image sequence. So I have downloaded in sorry i have converted it in the am transaction ame file so this is my sequence file i'll be selecting the very first file png file and then i'll be clicking it on open so as already I, it has been opened so i'll be selecting this file and then click on ok so my image sequence is being loaded on the program so now you can see that the image sequence has already been loaded so Let's uh, move towards the overlay section here at the bottom and then click it on overlay and then select the number from the top here and click on stinger one. So we are be going to set the stinger one for our program. So type full screen and then effect we have set it as part and then on the effect duration it has selected the frames. So there are sorry it has selected the duration and then on the duration it is showing the frames so png sequence is of 50 frames and i want to cut it as at 20 frames 22 frames because uh, at this point there is a cut point for our stinger so stinger cut point is at 22 frames you can set it as your preference so then let's click it on okay and then let's check it out 
So I am selecting this video on program and then the next one on preview. So let's set the stinger one from at the between at between the preview and the program. You can see there is a stinger one. So let's select the stinger one and then you can see the video interchange between the program and the preview as a stinger. So this is how you can set your stinger for your videos. So if you find this video useful, then make sure to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. I'll be here on the next video. Thank you and bye bye.